All right, Richard, let's uh, explain what we're seeing on the screen and the format, the way the digital format is called FTA. And I'm excused for the shaky screen, I'm just holding it here. This is hooked up to my 7100 through the cable we got. And FTA, Richard, to me, it's sort of like going up to someone and saying, hey, would you like to talk? And you answer and say, yeah. And I say, can you hear me? And you say, yeah. And then we walk away. Pretty much. <laughs> For making quick QSOs around the world, it ain't so much you having a conversation, but it is working individual stations that are on the waterfall and on that list that you see. And they're very quick. The, the average conversation is 15 second intervals. So you, you see Q 15, you respond 15, you respond back 15, and you 73. So about a minute and you're done with that conversation. And it also, it's sending a signal. This is all when set up, really automated after we select something. And then it, uh, so the, what is it doing automatically for us? We click on something, right? Yep, uh, let's find something here all in right. a minute. But all these are stations and different colors mean different things. So let's go here and see if we can hit this Texas guy. Texas, there we go. AG5XI. Okay. And he is showing that he's about uh, 1,261 miles away. And we're running uh, about... 50 watts okay. on 20 meters. Okay. And he did not respond to us. Okay. So I'm wondering if we have some, let's try it again here. And, and they'll make several attempts. Yep, it'll make about 10 different attempts until you, or until you halt the transmit. Right. So we set it up when you clicked on his little box down there. Do you see that? And then it'll start and, yeah, so you're going to halt him. Uh, I'll just say if you don't respond this time, I was in here. Okay. But not every, you know, everything's correct with all the sun flares and sunspots and everything yeah. else in the atmosphere. Uh, it might not be the best conditions for us today. Uh-huh. All right. Well, let's hope this one and let me check a few things. And okay. Maybe go to another band on the next All right, sounds good. The adapter here. See the USB audio. And uh, one of the troubleshootings is it might be going out over the speaker port or trying to listen to your microphone. So you, this is another piece in troubleshooting, yep. right? The, the uh, interface actually comes with a built-in sound card, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, we got two options, USB audio or the headset, which Martin's plugged in, which yeah. was a problem the other day. Right. But uh, if it's got a built-in sound interface, then you would want to make sure that this is showing that sound interface. If it's got um, stereo uh, speaker and mic jacks, then you would want to make sure it's configured to your sound card on your PC. Excellent. Yep. To get a response, talk about what we're seeing here. Well, uh, this gentleman here was calling uh, CQ. He is Kilo Kilo 4 Kilo, uh, looks like Yankee Victor. Uh -huh. um, I, res I responded to his CQ twice. He right. come back to mine, giving me a negative zero seven, which zero zero is perfect. Anything over uh, zero zero is uh, going to be overkill in most things. But he is uh, now sending me another one saying that I'm now plus zero zero, which is uh, the best you should be able to get. Uh, you can get higher than that, but you don't really want to because that's just saying that either A, you're too close or you're throwing too much power out. It is a, it's not quite a low power mode, so to speak, but it is uh, the power needed to make the QSO. Uh-huh. And I'm trying to figure out what... It looks like he's not hearing us now or uh -huh. something. Let me see. Uh, he sent 73, so we should have went 73. Why didn't that happen? All right, but 
just a misfortune of tinkering. That's all what ham radio is about. Okay, now let's see. Was that me? There's my 73. Yeah, yeah. And it's logged, see? Automatically logged into HRD. We have right. HRD running in the background currently as the controller. The HRD log is logged, and plus you have the JTDX log in the background as a backup in case something that inadvertently goes on. You always have a reverse log. Okay. Let's see if we can. So that's complete, and then, then let's see. there you go. Clicked on. Did you click one? Indiana. So how we knew is see the little box around it. So we're now in nine YK to see if we can connect to them. So when we're clicking on it, the system's basically sending a call out to that call sign, right? Correct. And transmission. And then we'll see if it responds. And remember, this is... And he responded. And he responded. There we go. See that? And he responded. Negative two for us, plus two for him. Okay. And this is on 40 meters. Uh, 7.074, upper side. Upper side band. And the red we're seeing is his response. The yellow is mine. Correct. So I'm sending back a message automatically. This is all being handled in the software to understand. And that one did correctly. And, that, and then it got logged. See that? Now it's in the log book. And would you mind going over to the other page to show them so they can see how it looks? In the log book set up, there we are. So in, in 9YK. Yeah, see that? In 9YK. And that's also, uh, I paid for the QRZ, so it's getting updated on my QRZ page, too. Yep. So, so we'll be getting that, uh, make sure that's all working uh, between the two. Yeah. But it should be. I think we've already got it set up. Let's take a look. Yeah, curious. go ahead. See? Go over. It should be in Chrome. Now we went over and I'm on QRZ. And there it is. Do you see that? It's automatically logged. Pretty exciting. And there's one from Brazil. And it's uh, made it over. And then... I'm paying for, what is the log service, I think. You walk me through it yep. on it. It's the, uh, it allows you to, you know, basically pull data f to and from QRZ. Yeah. And I think it was like 40 bucks, 50 yeah. bucks, something like that. Fairly reasonable for a year. For a year. Yeah. And it helps support a, a ham radio business. Yeah. And they so provides good service. And, uh, you know, it's uh, always try to support ham radio. I'm right with you. And if you'll go back, let's just kind of go over some of the things we're seeing on here once more. Okay, so the waterfall is is listening over uh, the, a, spectrum. A, a spectrum, which is really cool. And the it's hooked up to the radius. So it's not just listening for one specific frequency. Then it's bringing down every 15 seconds we're getting an update, right? Yeah. And that's coming in that column you're seeing right here. See that column, which is also updated down here. Which is a separate screen, just so you know. Right, there, and you've, you've attached them together to make it easy for me. Yeah. And then from there, this window right here is what I say, showing us these two here, what's in play. You know, what's going on, and you can clear it. So you've cleared the... Let's try Netherlands. Okay, Netherlands. All right, all right. He's down there. See that, the Netherlands? He's already clicked on that. you got to move fast for Richard. <laughs> and so now I'm calling out to the Netherlands, which is PC2K. Do you see that which, yellow? Which is 4,068... Mm -hmm. And see that line up there, 4,068 line of sight models. And you did not respond the first time. Okay. Which is always a feasible thing yep. because you're not sure if he's got his time set. That's another thing. Is to run this mode, you need to have a, a uh, time synchronizer. And I use NetTime as a free Net time. Uh, free application yep. that runs in the background that synchronizes your time to the uh, UTC servers to, so everybody is synchronized within a certain criteria. So now my systems, we aren't doing anything. It's automatically making several attempts to reach PC2K. 
And it's kind of like, hey, PC2K, are you there? This is KI4CFS. Hey, PC2K, are you there? This is KI4CFS. So it, it has a 15 second window where it's doing that. And then there's a 15 second of listening, right? It, it, right. it dances back and forth. So this is a good example to see. There's a good chance after three, it's not going to happen. That means that he's probably getting bombarded or he's just not hearing your yep. transmission. What's going on? All deals on atmospheric conditions, just yep. like any other thing in ham radio HF. But I've connected to Canada. There's one over in Canada. But what you want to do is every time it refreshes, you want to grab it right away. There we go. We clicked on Canada. Did you? Good. Pretty quickly, right? Uh, because other people are trying to jump in there. Yep. And so there is a bit of... Uh, catch it while you can of this system. So now we're trying to CQ to VA2PC, I believe it is. And I'm transmitting that. And we'll see if there's any inner, inner response. And again, it, it's a back and forth. But he's still calling CQ, so that's a good sign. Yeah. So that's now it's monitoring him when I start doing that too, right? Yeah, it so monitors it's watching him. his, right? It's sort of like saying it's focusing in on him. So the fact he's still calling CQ means I still have a chance. Now all this is done automatically again once we start the play, but it's good to understand what's going on in the back. Whoa! Responded he responded. That's exciting. Look at that. See that? Again, we're not clicking anything. This is all the software. Uh, working together, some brilliant people set up this. But the good thing is, is that after this QSO is done, it will automatically take you out of TX mode. So you have to click on another call sign that's calling CQ or call CQ yourself by clearing the DX and finding a blank area and uh, hitting the enable TX. And then people can respond to you. There it is, successful, so that got logged. And you see, it ended with my transmission, he was red, and then mine that's saying uh, 73 to you too. And it then got logged in the system. Well, I, I think this is at least a good overview. I apologize for the shaky screen. We just want to capture this and to at least see what's on the screen. And this is, the protocol is FTA. And it's a simple digital way to connect to people. And they quick QSOs around okay, the world. Make, yeah, quick QSOs. And this is a good place for me to start before I get into digital texting. <laughs> Don't forget to click subscribe and the bell so that you'll get updates on new videos that are posted here. This is KI4CFS clear and... And 4AED clear.